Right lads, we do indeed return to another episode of the Juventus Player Career Mode. So far this season, I can all, all I can say is that we've done really, really well so far. We've got 27 goals in 27 games with 9 assists, an average rating of 8. Okay, could someone please explain why people care about this? But that's not how we're here today. To be fair, to start off this episode, I didn't know what to do, so I thought, you know what? We've now got the long hair back. I want to return to our roots and get the original hairstyle which we had in the first season. Oh guys, it's beautiful. It's back in all its glory and I've got a surprise for you after this. In commemoration for the return of the hairstyle, we've gone and done it ourselves. Look at that, it's absolutely beautiful. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Right, I do get it. I look like a bit of a, a bit of a twat, but yes, that's correct. That's correct. You know what? I'm gonna stick it out of this episode of returning to our roots, and we're gonna have a good start to this episode in our first game. And in this first game, we've got the EA Sports Super Cup final against Napoli FC. Obviously, they're not licensed on FIFA anymore, but yeah, Serie A champions in real life, and uh, they've got a very good team. They're a difficult opposition to play against, and uh, we'll start with the first highlight already, guys. Go on. Return ball. Oh, that was lovely football as well. Find me. Oh, for God's sake, Kyle George. We need a new strike partner. You don't do anything. Come on, close him. Bubakar Kamara back to Politano. No one's closing him, and Politano's put Napoli 1 0 up. It's woeful defending, man, but I don't even know what to say. He's just, he's just absolutely gone through unmarked. 1 0 Napoli. Look at that football. Right, we're standing up the Napoli men. We get past one, we get past two, and Frimpong makes the block. It's been a difficult start to this game. Oh, you've delayed the pass. Kyle George and the shot's blocked. We're offside, but they're delaying these passes like mad. I mean, we are offside, to be fair, but I want it there. And he's just gone a fraction late, and we are offside in that one just before half time. Oh, go on. Dink him. Oh, I've proper fluffed that. I've proper fluffed that. Oh, the new hairstyle's not working yet, boys. Final hand at the half. And, uh, yeah, the, the, the less said about that final attack, probably for the better, to be honest. Time to take a touch. Go on. Oh, Kim Min Jae, we're injured. We're trying to outrun him. Kim Min Jae's got back. It's another world he saved by the keeper. Proper carry and napping at the moment as we get another corner. Right, easy pass. Nice little pass in play. Lovely. Right. Carrera. Kyle George is through. Kyle George can't miss, surely. And he puts it in the back of the net. It's another assist for us, to be fair. We're linking up quite nice with Kyle George now. One more goal in 15 minutes is all we need. Oh, go on. Go on. Chance to shoot. What a save again. Who the hell is this keeper? It's carrying Napoli. Oh, what the hell he is. I mean, that's the final highlight. We've got extra time, but this is a really, really difficult game of football and we're struggling to make an impact because we've got zero fitness left. Come on, Indica, you've got him. You've absolutely destroyed him there. Brilliant defending. We've still got the ball, though. Oh, no, not NS Unal. Great chance. He's hit the bows back out for an open net finish. Chesney with a worldly save. Brilliant keeping. Go on, ref. Right, Dayang, whip it in, mate. Whip it in. Go on, find us. Oh, my God. Oh, it's gone to it's gone to penalties. It's gone to penalties. Odds on will be first to take. Um, we'll see what happens in this anyway. Come on, come on, keeper. Shares me with the save. Who now sent it wrong way? Good penalty. Why is it telling me I have to take a penalty kick? Oh my god, this puts just this just puts pressure on us now. Come on, bottom corner. Yeah, keeper's got no chance. Doesn't even move. Like Maratta against his former club. Come on, Chesney. Straight down the middle, dude. What are you doing? Come on. Garcia with the penalty. Good penalty against the keeper. Varic Kelly. Come on. Oh my god. Chesney's not saved that. Oh god. What a nonce. Kulisevsky, you can't miss this, surely, man. And he's missed it. Of course he's missed it. Lobotka. Come on. I, I mean, he's missed it, but I thought we're in. Weston McKenney. You've missed yours and all, for God's sake. Varic's going to lose this game. Thierry Carrera with a penalty. Chesney's not moved. Chesney's cost us this game. For God's sake. Another... I mean, I've never won a final on this game, I don't think. 
I mean, I don't think Kev, why is it making watch the replay? I'm just furious that we've lost that game, to be honest. I mean, of course, man of the match, 8.3, one assist, but all round leadership, all round work rate, we were fantastic. We uh, we, were, we were thoroughly the best player on the pitch, for sure. Our team were just shocking. Look at them ratings. Look, just scroll down on them. Like, what the hell? We, I don't even know what he's done. It's such a poor result. I don't know, guys. We, we, we'll bounce back in the next game, I'm sure. But unfortunately, I'm incorrect. Jan Karamoa, Karamoa, sorry, formerly of Inter Milan, gets a double for Torino. We lose the Turin derby. Musa Sao scores for us. We are taken off very early on. 49th minute again for Kulisevsky. We're just shattered. We've been playing so much football. And uh, hopefully, though, we can beat Monza in the Coppa Italia. Well, it's a third successive defeat on the bounce. We've lost 3-2 to Monza at home and uh, I mean it's just embarrassing at the moment Chesney's playing woeful Gatti and Dragusin as a centre back pairing are absolutely abysmal and uh, I mean it's just getting worse for us we're, we're really I'm really frustrated being here now alright I'm gonna go cry but finally the losing streak comes to an end as myself and Duarte score both goals they had a 2-1 victory against bottom club Palmer. They had two shots, two chances and scored. We had eight shots, seven chances. It's a bad performance. I mean, we get man of the match for the 25th time this year or whatever. We're not playing well. I mean, surely the pressure's on Allegri now because we've been absolutely shocking in the last five games. We do return for an away game this time against Genoa. I mean, there's so many derbies this time. I even think this is one. But yeah, these are mid-table. It should be a win. And uh, let's get into the highlights. Good ball. Very, very good ball, that. Come on. Oh, no way. Your boa is absolutely in our back line. And Genoa lead us 1-0. I don't even know what to say. He's drinking tea again, so this is disrespectful. Oh, come on, straight from kickoff. Straight from kickoff. Oh, look at that for skill. Look at that for skill. I should have scored. I thought I had. Oh, that's a big miss. That should have been a goal. They're still 1-0 behind. Got to get near him, man. Your boa is just running through on his oh, own. And he's going for the sweat. It's Megs, our centre-back. And we're two hill down to Genoa. What the... What is going on? This is absolutely ridiculous. This defence is the worst I've ever seen. You fucking don't... Pedri, come on, man. Big ball in Chiesa. Flick it on for Duarte. Go on, sunshine. Yes, that's brilliant. Another assist for us. For Duarte. And uh, we've replied very quickly, but... I'm not sure about this defence, guys. They, they're really shaky. I mean, who'd have thought we'd have gone from playing with Aston Villa's defence, where we considered like 60 goals in a year, and that defence seems better than this one? Oh, he just tackles in the nick of time. Go on, bang it. Bang it, go on. Oh, that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Pedri's got us back into the game. We'll be out <laughs> for 10 minutes, and we've bought it back. Let's hope for more. Oh, that's a brilliant challenge. Yeah, final highlight, that, guys. Shockwave lost possession, but... We've had an impact on this game, but the defence has been absolutely atrocious. Nice football, that. Go on. Go on. He's missed again. We should have scored. Allegri's not happy with that. It's a corner, though. Right, come on, Bundia. Put a better ball in than Chiesa. I mean, it's not that bad, really. Go on. Go on. We've hit the bar. Jesus Christ. This game, they want us to score. It's crazy. Yes, it really is. Go on, front post there, we've managed to get our goal. It's only the second one of the episode, to be fair. We've not been great, I'm not. Oof. This celebration is... That's not a good look, is it? We, we do lead, though. Come on, come on. Don't let him all that, don't give him all that space, surely not. Chance to shoot, for God's sake, man, for God's sake. This defence is going to cost us the title, or at least the Champions League. We're level. I mean, it's a good goal, but look at the marking. He just he just has so much time and space. No, oh, for God's sake, it's infuriating to watch that. 3-3. Three, three. Go on. That's nice. Pedri, that's not nice. Go on. Shoot. What a block again. For God's sake. Oh, it's scored. It's all right. It's, I think that should be the winner. I'm hoping that's the winner. Look at the scramble in this box. They've defended really well, and we've been shambolic at the back this game. Go on, find me. Ah, at least we've won the game. 4-3, it's a very, very scrappy result. I'm sure we must have got man at match in that game. Yeah, 9.2. Guys, I'm not being funny. We, the, the goal drought is real. We've scored two all episode. But, I mean, assist-wise, and we are the perfect team player. One goal, one assist, same as Duarte, but we're just so much more influential. 
in general. And um, this defence is so, so frustrating. It's such a weird one, though. And Dick is left-sided, but they play him on the right, and then they have Gatti in the middle and Regani on the left. They're both slow, so surely you'd have Gatti on the right, Regani in the middle, and Dick on the left. I don't know, guys, but I'm not sure on Allegri's tactics, to be honest. Final play game now, guys. It's a match highlights. Played simulation, this time against Venezia at home. I just thought I'd play it for three games like I normally do. This should be a walk in the park, really. Find that ball. That is a good ball over the top. We do get there first. Sweaty, straight across goal. Duarte with another goal assisted by Oz. And uh, oof, painful landing. But a 1-0 up in nine minutes. Right. We need a good ball in. Probably not the best, to be fair. To Oof! We went for the bye, see? Oh, that's that's essentially a goal, isn't it? Come on. One on one. We've got this. Oh, what a torch. What a bad torch. For God's sake, that torch is paedophilic. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Match highlights are so weird, you know. Like, you just get the most random times of running through on goal, and I've lost it again. I mean, it would help if I could actually see how hard I was kicking the ball. I mean, that is a worldy ball in as well. I don't know if I've not scored, but it's the final highlight. We win 1-0. It's a weird game, though, isn't it? Match highlights. I know I always say I'm never going to do them, but they're practical when I've got a longer episode. So it's a good win nonetheless, and uh, another assist for us on the board. A little longer than a few minutes later. And to finish off this episode, we score another goal in the 22nd minute as we beat Empoli 3-1. Pedri also scores, so does Chiesa, and La Mantia scores for them. Yeah, we get another man of the match. That's the fourth one of the episode, I think, in six games and uh, it's a nice way to finish this one off. We do still remain top of the league though, seven points clear of Napoli. I mean, we're miles clear of fourth place last year. We're 16 points clear of them, 18 points clear of Milan. I'm pretty sure I've got the UCL qualification wrapped up for next season if we don't move. Yeah, 25 goals in 26 games. We are still the top scorer. We only scored three in the league this episode. I think it was three, yeah, three goals. But it was still, overall, still very, very good. We are the top assistant now, though now. We've caught up with Pedri now on 10 in 26. And uh, I think we've got quite a lot of clubs watching us now. But in the next episode, we have got AC Milan to start off with a difficult home game to get us started. Away then, we're against Monza. We need to get a bit of retribution in that. Then we've got Napoli again. We've got Bologna. We've got Inter. And we've got Sampdoria and Atlanta, I believe, because we're out of the Cup Italia now. And, um, I mean, did we get knocked out of the Champions League? Oh, I panicked a bit then. I was thinking, why are we not playing in the Europa League in a while? Because we haven't played in that for about four episodes, which equates to about three months. Uh, well, about three episodes, about three months. And, um, yeah, they've only just played the preliminary, preliminary round. So, uh, yeah, that's quite a weird one, really. Look at the teams in that. Inter, just below me, like... I mean, they're Chelsea, they uh, they knocked out into some good potential opponents. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. But um, yeah, that's all we've got for today, guys. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate everything that you guys do for me. And I'll catch you in the video channel very, very soon. Thank you very much and uh, cheers.